Customers of shops and grocery stores in rural areas have been complaining that many outlets are almost out of food supplies. It is a reality that comes as a consequence of many measures being taken to reduce the possibility of community transmission of coronavirus COVID-19 that has impacted the entire world. On days of the partial curfew on St. Kitts and Nevis, when residents and citizens shop in rural districts, they are faced with almost empty shelves and some shops could take hours to restock. Clearly, food distribution is under stress, although authorities have consistently said the country is not short of food supply. President Giselle Matthews of the Chamber of Industry and Commerce provides insight into the difficulties. Um, we know that there's been challenges on, the, on that front, but that is really, you have to understand, that has come from the fact that um, we are focusing predominantly on getting that cargo out at the port, unstuff those containers, and getting the shelves stocked. So what has happened is many of the retailers have been, the, the warehouse facilities for distribution have been um, somewhat halted at this time um, so that they can focus on getting the goods out and being ready to, to adequately um, supply the, the demand that is there on the shopping days, which is tremendous, as you can all see. So here's where I say to the general public, if you live in a rural area and you have shops out there that do have basics, the Attorney General has spoken to this time and time again, purchasing the essentials, the things that you truly need that can sustain you. Um, the, because those small shops carry those basics. Okay, so we speak, we'll speak about price. Um, we will have the discussion about, um, you know, the possibility of looking at how we can discuss as a chamber um, with our suppliers on, um, you know, managing the pricing structure, um, the wholesale pr pricing to those small shops. Um, you know, price gouging is something that we hope is not taking place, but again, that's consumer affairs will do their, have to do their exercise and their, and their homework in that regard. But in terms of the distribution, we are working with Mr. Samuel and his team. We have some ideas on different angles that we can go from in terms of food supply. So we're looking at different options at this time, hoping to roll something out from our major distributors, our major food distributors that can work in possibility of deliveries online, those kind of options. These take time, but when we have that detail and we know what we can do to assist, we will certainly be letting the general public know. So again, stick to the essentials. Don't come into town unless you absolutely have to um, and put the extra strain on the public system and on the supermarkets. Many are hoping that a remedy will be in place for the next partial lifting of the 24 hour curfew to allow as many persons as possible to obtain essentials they need. Glenn Bart, SKN Newsline.